Hey English learners, welcome back to 3 English, where we break down the nuances of the English language, slang, idioms, and phrasal verbs. Today's episode focuses solely on the most common abbreviations and acronyms used in social media and texting. Learning them will help you understand online communication better, and it may save you some time. But first, let's save time here and get started. Our first one is BRB. Can you guess what it stands for? Don't worry, I will give you a hint. Yep, it means be right back, indicating a temporary absence, usually from an online conversation. Let's see a quick example in context. Oh, please go. Oh, Gotta make some calls, Gregory. I'll be RB. Next up, BTW. This one is so easy and commonly used, it stands for by the way. Oh, BTW, I went by the post office today. I picked you up some stamps. Moving on, SMH. This one stands for shaking my head, which means to express disbelief, disappointment, or disapproval. For example, Now let's discuss TMI. It is time for you to figure out what it stands for. But first, let's see an example. Wait a minute, don't read the long paragraph, it's not real. TMI stands for too much information, indicating that the shared information is more than necessary or uncomfortable. BFF. I think this one is easy. Can you determine its meaning? Great job. BFF stands for Best Friends Forever. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to investigate your new BFF. We're My BFF, Anne from college. Her dad owns Kramer's. Next up, FWIW. It stands for For What It's Worth and is used to share something you think might be helpful or important. This expression is similar to the slang expression IMHO, in my humble opinion. We have seen this one in a previous episode. If you haven't watched it yet, you can find it in the description. Time to see some examples. Another example. ROFL, this one is funny. See the GIF and guess the meaning. That is right. ROFL stands for rolling on the floor laughing. Next up, TBF. To be fair, and it is used to be honest or truthful about something. For example, I see why am I. This one is long, isn't it? Don't worry, I won't let you guess. ICMYI stands for, in case you missed it, and it means sharing information that might not have been noticed or received attention. For example, NSFW, not safe for work. This one can be used when you are uncertain to open a file. Include images, videos, text messages, or even websites in an office work, because it may contain sexual content, nudity, violence, or anything else that could be disrespectful in a work environment. And the last one is IRL. Let's see the example first. Did you get the meaning? IRL stands for in real life. I can't believe you're all together. IRL, uh, could I get a quick self? What's IRL? I'm pretty sure that you could all answer the question. All right, folks, that wraps up today's episode. 
Remember, learning abbreviations will help you understand native speakers better, and it may also help you type faster. However, be careful not to use them excessively, especially in formal contexts such as business emails. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to subscribe and like it. See you next time.